Yoski Broskies. <clears throat> yeah, I mean Yoski Broskies. This is iCloud, and we're back with some more Plants vs. Zombies, the No Sun Challenge. Uh, where I play with no sun shrooms and no sunflowers, and see how far I can make it. We've got some toughies here on a night mission, with pretty much only puff shrooms as our li lines of defense, and one or two emergency plants. Oh yeah, actually. Actually, boop, boop, boop. I might be able to use some scaredy shrooms. Yep, I can use two of them, possibly. Good thing I remembered. Phew. Oh gosh, so many graves. This is gonna make for a tough uh, final, final wave. Ooh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay lots of attention. Lots of attention. Talk. Speak. English. <laughs> Please, me. <laughs> uh, which lane are you coming in? Okay, top. Top already is guarded. This is gonna ha be the point where I'm gonna have to start making some hard decisions, such as letting some rows go. And, uh... That's not always an easy thing. Especially since, you know, you can't always tell what kind of luck you're gonna have with certain lanes. I'm thinking these two I might end up letting go at the end, but I got that means I gotta try to defend them up until that point. Uh, so that there will be lawnmowers left to guard them at the final wave. So, even if they're gonna be sacrifice rows, that just all the more means that I gotta take good care of them up until that point. But so, I gotta... So first I'm gonna start out just try to take care of all the lanes and see where that goes. Develop the strategies as needed. On the fly. Rains. Okay, there's a couple. Well done. Stated the obvious here. Sorry about that. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Bleh. Um, I went shopping for some new glasses with my mom and uh, found a pair I really, really liked of, of the frames, and Walmart had them on sale for eight bucks. So I was like, heck yeah. I should be planting more of these. I shouldn't be waiting with them. So, that already might be a mistake for this round. I'm not very focused today. It's probably not the best time for me to be playing this, seriously. Uh, well, let's... let's see. Yeah. Um, one thing I've uh, been thinking about a lot is zombies... Zombie movies and series and stuff like that have kind of lost their punch. Like, it used to be a big horror deal. Because you look and you see, you know, they used to be human beings and now they're these rotten creatures and like you would have like a body horror feeling because you're seeing them walking around but completely, you know, rotten and stinky and disgusting with parts showing from the inside and and you would think, you know, it that used to be an absolutely horrifying imagery. But now we zombies have become so omnipotent or omnipresent that it's lost its punch. So it's hard, really, to make a horror movie or story anymore starring zombies because it's become cliché. It's kind of too bad. You know, in video games, it's, it's handy because you have humanoid enemies that are dangerous, but you also have no need for remorse for killing them. And since they're, you know, not real, as far as we know, yet, dun dun dun, uh, that 
you know, it, it's kind of like it's a good way out because then you don't have all these concerns. Oh, it's promoting violence. It's like, oh, it's okay. It's just zombies. Uh, so it's kind of a good thing for video game creators. So I understand them using it so much. But the problem is, like, especially for movies and series and stuff, it's it's worn out. Now, The Walking Dead did manage in the first few episodes to kind of convey the idea of, oh man, this was a kid, and it, it did manage to, for a while, uh, get that feeling, that feeling of, wow, this is really terrible, what's happened to people? when they become zombies and stuff. Especially if it's someone you know and care about. But of course, they could only keep it up for so long, and uh, that kind of became evident in later parts of the series and stuff. And they had to end up making people dangerous and, and to kind of mix things up so it wouldn't become uh, you know, repetitive. Because you can only keep up emotional feelings for so long. Um, that, it kind of makes horror movies uh, difficult in general, I think, to make. Uh, if I can get this guy, that grave has really gotten in my way. Phew. But yeah, horror movies, it's like, we're so desensitized to images of violence nowadays, so it's hard to make, you know, a good horror movie where it's scary but also fun. Because, I mean, if you get to a point where you're making it over about certain things, like certain terrible things that can happen to people and stuff in real life, it is not fun anymore, and you just really don't want to watch it. At least I hope that it's at that point. You know, I hope we never get to the point as humanity where we want to see, have fun seeing stories that hit too close to home, you know? But, uh, but yeah, it's like, it's becoming a lost art because of, uh, you know, desensitization. That's why, you know, when it comes to life experiences, I think that having some discretion can be a good thing in the long run for everyone. Such as why people should still wear clothing. I mean, sure, we're all naked under our clothes. and. and the human body is a natural and arguably beautiful thing, but, you know, it, but then you lose the, you know, the experience of unwrapping your gift when, let's say, you get married or whatever, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's like... I, I can understand why you want a little bit of discipline, why you want a little bit of restraint in your life, so that as a humanity, as a race, you can have other pleasures when all is said and done. And this isn't looking good here. This is not looking good here. Ah, oh boy. Ah, uh, we lost this lane already. So now I'm gonna have to be super duper careful of it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. These are, this is bad. I shouldn't have just used that nut here because now we've got all this going on. Well, then, then again, I mean, the mowers will take care of those. Gotta hope that this walnut holds. Hold! 
Hold! Come on, get him. Phew. Okay, that got him. Uh, I should just let him through. Because that guy's got a whole screen door and everything, so there's no stopping them. Ah, this is all we're left with. Wow. Blink. It was so pitiful. Yep, it's already getting tough. Ice Shroom. Temporarily immobilizes all zombies on the screen. Wouldn't that be nice? Almost all of them are 75 sun. Oh no, we've got the disco dancing zombie. These guys summon other dancing zombies. They move slowly, but their numbers really, really make them a problem. Oh boy. So we got that, 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 that. And let's go. Oh boy. I wasn't sure cause where I wanted to put him, and that'll work. Do, 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 do. At least there's way less graves this time around, thank goodness. And there's not going to be much of a middle wave. They're going to be in a steady stream up until the end. So we got to hold against those waves. I forgot to set up a timer this time for this episode, so hopefully I'll not do it for too long or too short. I was like, around 20 minutes is pretty good. And this one's pretty fast. Took a little bite out of my little guy. is just so hummable too. Hum humble humble. Um, I guess I can tell you a story about my grandma and the fact that she's that like we are only here today because of a really good dog. Uh, my grandma had a white dog named Rex when she was a little kid in Poland. And this was during the uh, German occupation of World War II. Crap, crap, crap. Um, and she... That that dog, uh... One time wouldn't let them go down a certain path, her and her brother. And, uh... That, uh he just kept pulling on their pant legs and not letting them go. So they finally went down another road. And turns out that, uh... They were getting that uh, the Germans were about to drop bombs on down the other road. And uh, so they narrowly missed the explosions. So, uh, so thank goodness for the big white fluffy dog named Rex in Poland in the uh, early 1900s, mid 1900s there kept us alive by keeping our grandma alive. There's probably little moments in everyone's past or everyone's uh, parents' past that completely change not only their lives but your life and uh, might be moments in your life that will change your kids' lives or other people's lives. Uh, maybe if you don't even have kids. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Know what to do here. gonna get through. Yeah, cause Scaredy Shroom is too scared. Yeah, dang it. 
But at least it didn't turn out as bad as it could have. Ooh, this is quite a badass. Doom Shroom destroys a large area, leaving a crater in its wake. Yeah, too expensive. And plus, the crater means that you can't plant anything where it used to be. Oh boy, we're gonna have screen doors and dancers. 